Welcome to the yet another add-on session on computer networks. In this session, we will discuss the satellite communication and specifically we will be discussing about Iridium. Iridium, the concept of Iridium uh, system was started in 1990 by Motorola with 77 low earth orbit satellites. The initial name came from the 77th chemical element in the periodic table that is that is iridium later on the plan was revised and in finally in 1998 the service was started with 66 satellites and the project was renamed to the dysprosium that is the 66th element in the periodic table in iridium or dysprosium the 66 satellites are divided into six, uh, six different orbits. So it means there are total 66 satellites and there are total six different orbits. And we have 11 satellites in each orbit that covers the entire globe as you can observe in the figure. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six different orbits and we have 11 satellites in each orbit and these uh, these 66 satellites covers the entire earth now these satellites are at the altitude of 750 kilometers and satellites in each orbit are separated from each other by approximately 32 degree of latitude each satellite has maximum 58 spot beams. I mean, uh, the cell, uh, 48 cells are covered by a satellite with a total of 66 into 48. That, that is, there are total 3168 footprints. 3168 total beams, total cells that are covered by the 66 satellites. However, some of the beams are turned off as the satellite approaches to the pole. So, nearly 2000 beams are activated at the given point. So, maximum jo aapke paas cells hote hain ya spot beams hoti hain iridium mein ya dysprosium mein wo ek time pe 2000 hoti hain. Vaise to we have 66 uh, satellites and each satellite has 48 beam, beams. So it means total 3168 beams are there. But when the satellite approaches to the pole, we used to turn off some of the beams and nearly 2000 beams are activated at the given moment. In a radium system, dysprosium system, the communication between two users takes place through the satellites. It means it supports totally wireless communication. Iridium is the first uh, network that is totally wireless. We don't use any base stations in Iridium. So when a user called to the another user, now let's suppose that uh, this user, let, let, let number this uh, him as one and let's number this user as two. Now suppose user number one wants to call to the user number two. So what will happen? The call will be connected to the nearest satellite. Then that call will be relayed using the different satellite up to the destination point. So there is no involvement of the base stations at all. The network is totally wireless. It, Iridium provides direct worldwide communication using handheld device, terminals or devices. And this system can be used for voice, data, paging, fax, and navigation. But the biggest feature of dysprosium or iridium is it's, it's a totally wireless system. Thank you very much for joining.